Yo, what up guys? It's Caesar back with another NFT video. Today is Thursday, August 12th, 2021. And please forgive me for whatever noise is going on outside my door. I think they're like cleaning carpets next door because you know, there's like a college campus apartment. There's a lot of turnover right now move-in days like next week or something, but hopefully you guys won't be able to hear that. But anyways, I just wanted to talk about Tory Lanez going platinum in less than a minute, selling his album as NFT art and making over a million dollars. So for those of you who don't know who Tory Lanez is, I would say he's about like a B to C tier rapper. No offense to him, but just in my circle personally, I don't really hear many people talk about Tory Lanez. Obviously I, I hear his songs every now and then. He almost has 17 million monthly listeners, so that's incredibly respectable. You know, it's not a so like, I'm just saying he's not a superstar, but he's definitely a big, player in the industry and whether or not he's in your circle or your group of friends listen to Tory Lanez he's definitely someone that influences a lot of people I believe he has over 10 million followers on Instagram so it's really big that he's getting into the NFT space and I'm so jealous that he was the first one to do this I know that in some of my previous videos I was talking about how in like in the future I'd love to be like part of the first wave of people that gets into releasing music as NFTs. And now I'm a little nervous for that because it seems like they're all gonna beat me to it, but it's it's fun. It's obviously going to grow the community a ton because if Tory Lane did this and I saw all the rappers in his comments, I even saw like Kodak Black, I'm sure I could find a bunch more if I looked at it right now, but they were all saying like, you know, fire emojis, you know, goat, legend, this is cool, you know, whatever. So obviously if people weren't already aware of NFTs and the, the fact they could release their music through NFTs, they are definitely paying attention to it now. And he did a really good no money grab type thing. So I guess he sold his unreleased album or a, you know, a group of unreleased songs. I think it was about eight to 10 tracks. So not really an album by today's standards. That's a video for another day. I wanna make a rant video one day, random rant videos, just to you know, get more of my personality out there. These deluxe albums are trash. 30 songs, 26 songs on the album, it's, it's too much. But anyways, it's like eight songs, so you could call it like a mixtape in today's standards. So he sold one million copies of his album for one dollar. So he made one million dollars, and one million selling one million units is equivalent to the RAA or RIAA platinum certification in the United States. So by that, those metrics that have been well established for years, Tory Lane's album went platinum in less than a minute yesterday. Uh, made a million dollars, obviously that's a lot less than you would make normally if your album goes platinum, but that's great. I'm not sure what the back end is. There's no way he's not getting some type of royalty on this. Maybe he isn't, I don't know, he really doesn't need it. But he really promotes this project as something that is like giving back to his fans. Now I won't show his uh, Instagram posts in this video, or maybe I'll put a snippet, but uh, you can go look in the link in the description to see like his Instagram and the actual, like see his celebration popping champagne after they sold out. And one of the things he says is that, I'm not even happy for me, guys. This is for you. You, All you guys that bought 40 copies for a dollar, you're gonna be able to go flip it for, for thousands in the future. And maybe that will be true because this is the first ever NFT unreleased project drop or just album drop in general by a, a mainstream artist. There's definitely a few people that have put out their music before. And there's another video I'll be making really shortly on an artist that one of my subscribers put me onto that's been releasing a lot of their music through um, NFTs, marketplaces and stuff. But the cool thing about them is they're not as popular as Tory Lanez. They still have a good following, like two or three million monthly listeners. But what they do is with the sale of the NFT, they're actually going to be giving away royalties or the earnings, uh, a percentage of the earnings made on the songs that they actually release, which is super cool. Not sure how that's gonna work. A lot of people in the comments were saying like, good luck with this, good luck with the IRS. They're, they're gonna call it a security or whatever. And I'm not even really sure of the logistics behind any of that. But he said like, he was responding to all the haters like, oh, you know, it's not like I've worked on this for months or talked it with, through with it with my lawyers or whatever. So it seems like, you know, he's figuring it out, but whatever, that's another video. But as far as I'm concerned in the mainstream, I would say that he is right. You know, a lot of rappers lie about, oh, first this, or we the best this. It's like, it is true. It's definitely the first unreleased NFT album. Or I keep saying unreleased. It is technically unreleased, but it's still just a, an album, whatever. And this is super cool. Honestly, I'd be surprised if one isn't up within the next week. Like I honestly think that, now I feel like this is really going to open the floodgates for music NFTs because obviously as of lately, it's just been the avatar collections and, and most of the NFT space has been in the art community and there really hasn't been too much going on on the music side of things. But I feel like within the next six months to a year, we're going to start seeing like Kodak Black, any, you know, Cardi B, Lil Nas X. Like I feel like every single artist will have their own NFT album or, and I really do think it will be kind of great because these artists will be able to release like side projects that maybe they will uh, be separate from their Spotify. So it will be like an unreleased album that, you know, surely it will probably leak on YouTube or something, but 
the, for the people that own that, it will be like they're part of that collection. Like imagine owning one of a million of an album of your favorite artist. Like imagine you're a huge diehard Tory Lanez fan. If you are, let me know in the comments if you got one of these guys. But unfortunately, I didn't hear about this until it was too late because I stopped following a lot of rappers on Instagram because it just isn't you know really good for your mental health yeah i couldn't imagine if my favorite artist dropped an album there were only one million copies and i was able to buy one of those copies like there's still a lot out there but you're still kind of part of an exclusive club and this could even go so far as to spiral into like a great community building asset i know some rappers i'm not sure i feel like more rappers probably are on discord than i'm aware of me personally i'm really going to start working on my discords guys hop in the description to my superstar discord collection for my uh, nft collection coming up and then also my personal discord i haven't been too active in them yet but that's because i'm really new to discord and it's just i don't know i'm, I'm not used to checking it still and it just shocks me how many people are in there in between answering comments and everything it's just but anyways i'm really going to get into that discord soon guys i promise you like my discord i want to really get to know all of you guys and really just get as deep into the community as i possibly can but anyways that was a preface to me saying that i know that some rappers such as like ian dior i think he has a discord that he uses with his fans so he already has something like that going going on but in the future like you know these big artists like if, if Lil Nas were to do it he has like a huge audience or someone like a Ariana Grande Justin Bieber so it would be a very exclusive club like a million would still be exclusive uh, with how many fans they have and those people can maybe have a discord or some special thing or you know have uh, certain like clans or something within the discord so that you know because obviously a million people in a discord would be pretty packed but this is going to be huge for the music industry he only sold his for a dollar and that's enough to make a million you know wait until someone you know i'm sure someone's going to come out soon and make one that's five dollars or ten dollars i'm sure some artists could get away with selling theirs for a hundred dollars and just make a hundred million dollars overnight have the most successful album of all time. Which leads me to another point. I feel bad stealing his intellectual property. This is what my roommate Mike told me last night. This is all his idea. I'll link his channels in the description down below. He's who I'm currently working on my project with. I always forget that you guys don't really know who he is yet. We record vlogs every day for our uh, project and just going through the, the day by day, what we did that day. But he was saying how this Tory Lane situation is like going to kill the platinum. Like the platinum is no longer going to be a, a certification for an artist. But like, I know it's kind of gotten worse nowadays because it's, it's pretty easy to go viral on TikTok or this and that and get a platinum. But if you get a platinum record, I would still say that's, that's very respectable. Even if you do some t-shirt marketing scheme or something, it's still pretty hard to go platinum. And not to say that this wasn't hard to do by any means. Clearly he had to you know, have the wherewithal to get into the NFT space and then be the first in this industry to do this. But still in the future now, as I said, if all these artists are getting into it, it's really might become something where every artist is able to go platinum or diamond overnight, just easily within 10 minutes. Now the power to go platinum through NFTs or diamond or like even sell a hundred million copies is going to absolutely change the game. Because if you think about it, and me, I'm a geek in, in music, so I'm always looking up, you know, the stats on Spotify. Um, when songs go platinum, they usually have about 100 to 150 million streams on Spotify, and that's just Spotify, not to mention, you know, Amazon Unlimited, Apple, Apple Music, Tidal, you know, everything else, YouTube. So hundreds and hundreds of millions of streams are needed to reach the equivalent of 100 million copies sold, which is a platinum. And back in the day, obviously, artists like Eminem and people like that were able to go platinum because, you know, you know, for me to get one album sale to Tory Lanez, I would have to listen to his album on iTunes, like, 500 times for it to play, you know, a thousand or 2000 streams so that he can get, you know, the equivalent of one sale. Whereas back in the day, someone like Eminem, if they had a ton of fans, they would just buy the album and that's just one album sale straight up. But now this is a little different because if you release these NFTs and you do like what Tory Lanez did and you really drive an uppercut and then there's the extra value of it not being released on Spotify, you could have someone selling out 5 million, 10 million albums, like it's nothing. Because think of these artists, artists like DaBaby, uh, Ariana Grande, or well, DaBaby's actually in hot water right now, but all these artists that have 50 million or more monthly listeners. Obviously, I'm sure a lot of those monthly listeners are not diehard fans because those people have such a mass audience that, you know, there's, there's casual fans as well as diehards. But still, how hard would it be for 20% of Ariana Grande's audience to buy out 10 million albums within one minute. Not to mention if people are able to buy more than one copy of the album, it will just be absolutely game over. So this is going to be absolutely game changing for the music industry. I'm really excited to see where this takes things. I really hope that it goes in a, in a good direction. I'm sure there will be a lot of ups and downs. I feel like in the short term, it probably won't be great. A lot of people will just rush to re release their NFTs. All these artists will just have their teams work on them, release them and they'll probably be you know decent and some of them will go bad some of them will go great for many of them like a soldier boy probably or something they would just use it as a money grab and then run others will fall in love with the nft space and then actually find good ways to give back to their audience and it will just continue to build and spiral from there so this is huge for the music industry art nfts it's crazy how nfts is really just becoming it's really going to blur the lines of culture here 
Because if you sell an album and then you want to add, like I say, all the best NFTs offer incentives, but you already have music there. The incentive could be like, it's just really blurring the lines between music, video games, art, culture, community. It's just super cool and I'm really happy to be a part of it. So thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to hit that bell and subscribe and whatever, you know, you know what to do. Hit the like or thumbs down if you don't like me. So uh, either way, I love you guys. Thank you very much. Let me know anything that you want me to talk about. Let me know if you've heard of anything else like this, any other cool like artists that have come out with some type of NFT or anything I may have missed about this situation. And if there's any projects or anything else you're looking into or what I should cover next or whatever. But, but with that being said, be sure to stick around. You know I got you guys with all the latest news, updates, everything NFTs. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Peace.